What is up, guys? I'm Zoff. I'm Rob. I'm Bryce. And this is Real Time. Tara, come back at you with another episode of Avatar The Last Airbender, Book 3, Episode 9, Nightmares and Daydreams. Last episode, we learned about bloodbending from the Puppet Master, the evil witch waterbender girl. Um, and she was trying to teach Katara, saying it's very powerful. Katara refused, but in the end, she ended up using it, um, somehow learned how to do it on her own. And now she knows the knowledge of bloodbending, which could be massive against the Fire Nation. But I do feel like it is going to be rare if she does use it. I don't know if she will teach it to Aang. I have no clue. Maybe they she she won't even tell Aang in the group about bloodbending. Who knows? But that is a big thing, I feel like. Um, it's a, just a whole other type of bending. And I feel like only waterbenders can do it. So that gives the advantage to waterbenders. Yeah, I mean, this is like the first one, I think, since book two, that's just going to be one episode, though. So pretty much the reason is the next two episodes are part one and two, and then also just works out from there on out for the rest of the book. So um, that's why this one's just one episode, but it will still continu continue to be two episodes going forward. But uh, the first episode that we watched last video was The Runaway, and that was like Toph uh, going around just the fire nation and gambling scamming <laughs> and people. scamming people for their money but uh her and katara were going at it like she was yelling at katara saying like why are you acting like our mother um and then they started to like bring up real family issues then at some point um because i think they were just saying a little bit of too real stuff to each other and at the in the end it made uh i think toff realized like uh, i'm gonna reach out to my parents because i do kind of feel a certain way about leaving them like guilty they probably do miss me and uh katara was able to overhear Sokka and toff say what they really think about her and like how much she means to them so that was very very sweet um i'm glad they're good now i feel like ever since toff joined her and katara just going at it the two girls like they love arguing so i'm glad that they uh are getting along again now also in that first episode we got the the one-eyed man again we got combustion man as named by Sokka uh, he's just been following them for a good while now um, for most of book three it feels like and I mean team avatar gets away every time but uh, this combustion man definitely puts up a good fight and I mean just by the fact that they're running away it makes me feel like they think that they can't really handle him and I mean, in all the interactions they've had, it, it does feel rather one-sided uh, because, I mean, we haven't seen anybody do the things that this guy is doing. So um, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to uh, the next time this guy pops up. If you guys like our videos, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Check out our links in the description. We've got the Patreon, the Discord, and all of our social media as well as our PO Box and the second channel. And yeah, we're going to get right into Book 3, Episode 9 of Avatar, Nightmares and Daydreams. Let's do it. I am the Fire Nation. Sheep. Oh, they look like sheep koalas. That's dope. They're baby appas. No, they're sheep koalas. The official rendezvous Who's appa? <laughs> Didn't I say it would take me till season three to say that or something? You said season three, book three, episode twelve. Oh, I was close. But it was Ong though, not not appa. Yeah. Uh -oh. And also, you said it like the next episode too. <laughs> I guess. Isn't it? Anxious little guy right now. He's about to have a nightmare. Yeah, he's probably having nightmares. Dude. He looks like freaking Naruto. How do you plan on doing that? <laughs> not even wearing pants. Dang, you forgot your pants. Are they literally just doing like a Naruto thing? It's not Naruto. Or who is just, it? I think it's just anime. If any, it looks more like a Dragon Ball. If anything, the, yeah, I don't know. I kind of just went with what's up. Well, I better keep training. This man's working through the night. Kick bush, punch tree. That's training. He's wailing on that thing. What did that tree ever do to you, Ang? Sloppy, and they still don't know any firebending. Not even the basics. Oh, he is tweaking. The eclipse will block off firebending anyway. You don't need to know any. 
Plus, it's a stupid elf. <laughs> okay, well, I still have to work on everything else. I better spend the whole day. <laughs> Ew, I saw that. I'm bringing you down. And this time I brought pants. Oh, secured the pants on. So it seems. But are you prepared for your mathematics test? Uh oh. Well, <laughs> this wouldn't happen. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's not even Ozai, though, is it? I don't think he knows what Ozai looks like, to oh, be fair. Oh. But I forgot my pants in my math test. What? With rose petals on top. You know, being a prince and all, I might just be able to make that happen. <laughs> okay. They might kiss. Some stuff, too. Like that all-day war meeting coming up. War meeting? What are you talking about? Oh, he doesn't know about that. I assumed you were going, too. I guess I wasn't invited. You didn't make the cut. Wake up, Ang. <laughs> Wake up, sleepyhead. Rise and shine. That's him. Mm-hmm. But you missed the invasion. <laughs> oh. <laughs> A hippopotamus with wings? <laughs> Relax, it's still two days before the invasion. Two days. What? You've got to get up and trim your rock climbing exercises. What? Only two days? Mm hmm You know what? I've got just the thing. Ready to be de-stressified. You need to give him a kiss. These yoga <clears throat> stretches can really work wonders if you do them in extreme heat. Uh, reach for the sun. Where did this place come from? I think Toph made it. And then Katara yeah. probably put water there. There's this warm feeling all around me. This heat. Like I'm in the fire. Fireballs at me. And the whole world is being It would be hard to take your mind off that. Maybe your stress is the kind you need to talk out. Why don't you get right down to business and tell me what's this dude loves that beard. Okay, but what can I do to feel better? Want to try screaming into this pain? Of course you're welcome there. Oh yeah? I guess that's why no one bothers to tell me about it. Oh, Sounded like you had a little lisp there for a second. <laughs> what? Just go to the meeting. Forget it. I'm not going. <laughs> you got the pity invite. I wouldn't go. All right. What you need is a good old-fashioned back pounding to relieve your. Found a way. That probably feels good. Time. No. Damn, he is not interested now. I'm too busy thinking about my meeting. Everything, guys. So, do you feel less stressed? Ready for a good night's sleep? No. <clears throat> I sort of might slightly feel a little better. Maybe. She gave him that back massage when he has that wound still back there. <laughs> yeah. That thing probably hurts so bad. Getting shot by lightning. Whoa. All right, this is an actual nightmare. Yeah. This is actually horrifying. Oh. Bro, this is crazy. That was a crazy one, Ang. Jesus, sock a pack it up. Nothing helps. There's only one thing I can do. I'm gonna stay awake straight through the invasion. No, dude. Look, you look horrible right now. Invasion. 
It's so bad. He's down horrendously. But more than that, I'm doing it for the people I love. I'm doing it for you. Oh. I'm saying, I'm saying, I love you. What? What? That's not real. Is this a daydream? This is the yeah, daydream. This is the dream. Yeah, right, dude. What? What our hearts have been telling. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> oh no. Oh. Get some sleep, bro. That is an iconic line. Baby, you're my forever girl. Uh, living underwater? Sounds neat. My lord said he would not start until you arrive, sir. Wow, my dad does care. Dude. <laughs> That's sick. He's your bison. Ozai's defense is impeccable. I'll have to try. Did he just meth? Yeah, because he's not sleeping. No, but I said something. Uh, <laughs> you, my friend, are just a few plums short of a fruit pie. <laughs> 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 he can understand Momo for a sec. Momo, let me explain. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he speaks lemur. We're all starting to get a little... Yeah, you think? You've been awake too long. And you're acting downright weird. <laughs> Got to take care of... <laughs> what? <laughs> like this. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he standing like that? Best way for me to deal with it. Yeah, leave the kid alone. Dude, this is crazy. Oh my! <laughs> Tell Mappa. Ang is seeing some crazy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why does Mimi look so large? <laughs> Holy shit, Appa! Tornado! Mimi looks like a Ronin! What? Oh, it's a uh, guru Patek? Pat Patek, I think, yeah. Jokers, is good. <laughs> Aang has fully lost his mind. He's bro. tripping right now. He's fully lost it. Yeah, he's, he's hallucinating. <laughs> I was literally at his right hand. Zuko, that's wonderful. You must be happy. No. Wanted. But I wasn't me. It's not who you are. We spent hours working on it. <laughs> we made it for you. A good night's sleep will probably take the crazy away. <laughs> they, they shed the, <laughs> the animals. It's <laughs> practice. Quick, hit me. <laughs> knock him out. To Toph, you could definitely knock him out. You've been training for this since the day we met. I've seen your... You're smart, brave, and strong enough. Give him that affirmation, Katara. Uh oh. It's time to face the Fire Lord. Are over, Fire Lord. <laughs> really? You're gonna take me out? You're not even wearing pants. No, Fire Lord Ozai. You're not wearing pants. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not. How can this be? No. My royal part are just. <laughs> the royal parts. The royal parts. Oh, the sleepy song. What a, uh. Crazy episode we got ourselves there. I mean, almost like Aang said, "Hey guys, I'm gonna take uh, some mushrooms before this one." But realistically, he wasn't getting sleep. Um, he was hallucinating, and he just he needed some sleep. And they got it at the end. Bella's made him a bed out of the sheep koala wool, shawala, and 
he, he looks like he's getting a good night's sleep, turning his dream against Ozai. I mean, I didn't know that the freaking, the invasion was so soon. It's only in a day. I mean, that means probably next episode we're going to be invading, which is super exciting. Um, I cannot wait to watch that. And yes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this episode was definitely very goofy, but I, I really liked the whole different like animations that they were doing and just kind of like... I don't know, just the whole sequence with Momo and Appa was so, so funny. Just, like, giving them a voice, like, a, mm -hmm. like an, a human voice, and them, like, doing the samurai fight and everything, and then even, like, the, the nightmares of Aang, like, going with different outfits and, like, styles was so funny. Um, I just think that's kind of, like, one of the cooler things about this episode is just, like, being like, this is what... <laughs> he could look like like this and this is what uh maybe the show could have been in an in alternate universe like the animals are talking and uh defending hangs <laughs> on or like it was it was really funny um obviously like the whole reason why it was happening isn't funny it's just ang is literally tweaking out about facing the fire lord and like like i said i think i would be too because it's a very scary thing i kind of i don't really remember exactly like what their plan i don't know if the invasion is like i, I could have sworn they said they're doing like a smaller scale invasion first with like katara's dad and stuff before the because they really did like the og plan was to like stop the fire lord before the comet in yeah. the summer but then in the library they found out about the uh the eclipse or whatever that's not tomorrow is it tomorrow the eclipse is yeah, yeah. Oh, okay so yeah that, then that's okay. the day that's the day that they won't be able to use their firebending. Yeah, okay. And the, the comet is when it would be stronger. Got that. Um, so he's getting a good night's sleep during the eclipse. Yeah, I definitely think it was very important for Aang to, to get those affirmations from, from the gang, from Team Avatar. I mean, like he said, even though it was a dream, uh, he, he kind of realized that he's not just doing this for like the fate of the world. He's doing it for the people he loves, and that's the people around him, his friends. Uh, so I, I think it was necessary for him to to hear those words from them to, to get that good night's rest. But in the Fire Nation, Zuko uh, didn't get invited to a meeting, and that was basically his whole problem this episode. Uh, he felt like he was being dis like un unincluded, discluded, um, his sister got invited to this. It's like a big meeting to prep for battle or whatever, and he didn't get the invite. But his dad, the Fire Lord, paused the meeting, said, I, I'm not starting it without Zuko. Zuko was getting pretty much everything that he's talked about wanting, um, everything he's wanted to be. Uh, he's kind of achieved it now. But like we saw, he said to May there, it's just not him. He felt like he was not him in that moment. And, uh, I don't know. We'll have to see where that goes. If you guys like our videos, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our links in the description. We got the Patreon, and the Discord, and all of our social medias as well. Our PO Box and Second Channel. And yeah, we'll catch you guys next time for Book 3, Episode 10 and 11 of Avatar The Last Airbender. Peace out.